We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. We who believe in freedom cannot rest, cannot rest. War on drugs is actually turns out to be a war on Hispanic people, a war on uh, people of color, actually a war on us. No more drug war. No more drug war. Getting mothers together from across the nation to speak out against the violence, the mass arrests and incarceration, and the accidental overdose deaths that are the result of punitive drug policies. that psychedelics have um, extreme you know, merits as far as helping people to delve into their subconscious. For me, the message is mostly about personal freedom, that people should be able to make choices for themselves. But I also do think that our governments are spending way too much money treating people as criminals. You're looking at incarceration rates that have skyrocketed since the 70s. Just needs reform, serious reform. I can't understand how a drug-oriented society found it necessary to declare war on itself. Most of the victims of the drug war aren't here with us today. They're in um, prisons, they're in foster homes, they're in hospital beds, or on the path to rehabilitation. The drug war, I want you to understand this right now, is nothing but the mask of all the stuff we hate. The drug war is the mask of racism. The drug war is the mask of sexism. The drug war is the mask of xenophobia. The drug war is the mass of homophobia, Islamophobia. And one of the things that we're going to do is take off the mask. I think we've hit the tipping point on marijuana because of what Colorado and Washington did and what Uruguay is going to do. We've hit the tipping point because the Justice Department, and thank you to the Obama administration for giving these states a little bit of room to run. We may be at the tipping point on marijuana, but two states down and 48 to go, and hopefully one country down and 200 to go, that's a long way to go. Marijuana legalization is just the start. We still have people going to prison every year, 2.3 million people incarcerated in this country, and we have to change that. You know, the movement will continue to go forward because we have minds like this coming together and talking strategy, talking about what's working, what's not working. For us, for the, all the Uruguayans that we are here, this conference is like the starting, actually, of a lot of new knowledge and a lot of new learning. All the European, they are looking at Colorado, Washington, and Uruguay. We teach them things in the 90s and now maybe we should learn things from uh, them uh, uh, today. Compared with Europe, we don't have this kind of movements. We need to import this kind of enthusiasm, this kind of motivation to Europe. If we're going to restore health and welfare uh, and safety to the people of the world, we need to control and regulate drugs. We need to reinvest the nations of the world with national sovereignty so they're deciding what's best for their country. This is a long -term term struggle for freedom, for freedom, for freedom and liberty. Yes, and compassion and justice and health and science, but it is for freedom and for liberty. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. God bless you.